Well, this Valentine's Day, you could make your sweetheart happier. And at the same time, you can help, quote, divorce-proof your marriage. It won't cost you a cent. Here's reporter Heather Sells with the perfect gift for couples everywhere. For decades, the old saying, the family that prays together stays together, was viewed as one of the foundations of a happy marriage. It was very dark. Uh, there was no love there. Alcohol had come in. I think it was bringing the Lord into our lives. Mm -hmm. For Tom and Liz, their faith made the difference in their marriage. But a 2004 Barna survey rocked the Christian community when it found no difference in the divorce rate among Christians and non-Christians. But today, researchers say that's not the whole story. They found that for couples who regularly attend church, the divorce rate drops by 35%. Folks who are going to church are more likely to be, to be praying regularly, to be um, in some kind of fellowship with people who take their marriage vows seriously. Um, they're more likely to get the support that they need, the emotional support, the social support, to uh, navigate the shoals of, of married life. That doesn't surprise Pastor Bill Tehanchuk. His counseling ministry helps couples from all backgrounds. And Tehanchuk finds most of those seeking help are only marginally involved in church. We have seen the best or the most success with in terms of people who have successful, happy marriages are those that are consistently involved in the full life of the church. Tehanchuk believes that commitment, plus reading the Bible and praying together, is the best way to build strong marriages. You know, one of the old sayings that I can remember growing up is that the, that the couple who prays together stays together. And I really believe that. While there's no hard information measuring the effect of prayer on marriage, Wilcox has found a connection. When couples pray together, when they have a sense that God is present in their marriages, it's strongly associated with having uh, happier marriages, uh, more uh, fulfilling marriages um, among American couples. Surveys also show that couples are happier when they attend religious services regularly, showing that the best way to spend Valentine's may be to head out to church or to get down on your knees. Heather Sells, CBN News. Just her body. The most intimate act between man and woman who are married is not sex. What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Please, God oh, bless you. God bless you. Good Good to see you. Back. You've written a book, Couples Who Pray. The most yeah. intimate act between a man and a woman. Okay. Yes. That's what it is. How come? Well, can you think of anything more intimate than that than opening up your hearts and your mind to your Creator, you and your husband together? That's a most unguarded moment when we come before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And you know, when we talk about this most intimate act between a man and a woman, people's thoughts start uh, going where they go and we say, we know what you were thinking. That's not Sharing it. a toothbrush. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we decided, yeah. Pat, that because we have had such a wonderful marriage, this is actually, Squire's been married before I was married before. So in our former marriages, we did not pray together. Okay. When we came together and started praying, we saw how powerful that was. So we went out and we would share that with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And then we started finding out most couples don't pray together. No, they don't. Yeah. And most Christian couples don't pray together. Why? They just either, you know, it's like women will have their prayer meetings, men will have their prayer meetings, they go, they pray in church, they pray at grace. They don't carve out the time to be together, that special time, that inner sanctum with the Lord, they don't do it. When they do though, and we mm -hmm. took two dozen couples, we said, go out and try this for five minutes a day, 40 days and see what happens. The results were astronomical. We could not believe. They were saying things like, this is life changing. Come Why on. didn't anyone tell us about five this? Five minutes a day? Five well, minutes. actually, we know that we're hooking them because once mm -hmm. you start on five minutes a day, you're, you're gonna start spending a little bit more time, sure. a little bit more time, a little bit more time. But if it could only be five minutes a day, every single day, it really translates. And these 24 couples, some of them were married 25 years, some of them married only two years, but they all came back with the same result within two weeks. They were ecstatic. They said, my life has changed, my, my relationship with my wife has changed. And then we found the statistics. All right, we went we? looking for statistics. Okay. And we were absolutely amazed that there was no research 
out there. Barna had none, done uh, no research, mm -hmm. Baylor University. None of these big research firms had done any research on couples praying. And what are some of the tangible things you found? You got any stats? Well, what we found out was that there's overall a 20 to 30 percent increase in romance, yeah. conversation, and all levels of happiness. Arguments go down. The fear of divorce goes to zero. Now, this was a study that was found, actually, mm. that it was... Um, it was actually on infidelity yeah. that Gallup had done. Yeah. And we asked <laughs> Baylor to go back and reevaluate the questions that Gallup had slipped in about couples praying. And that's when some of these statistics that you were showing on the screen that were just phenomenal, that, it, that lovemaking goes over 21%. It does. Conversation goes Everything. up. Mm -hmm. Respect goes up. Mm -hmm. Intimacy. <laughs> Uh, for you, 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 you both had previous marriages. Mm -hmm. How come? How would they break up? Or is that too sensitive to ask? Well, it was, I do believe the reason was that communication was broken because we weren't praying. And when Squire and I got together and got excited about this, we actually started speaking at places and we'd call our talk, everything I know about wrecking relationships I learned in my last marriage. And we're telling people what not to do. And then people would come up to us, Christian couples, mm -hmm. and they'd say, you know, my husband prays and I pray, but we don't pray together. How do you do it? Yeah. You know, it seems like we're, we're suggesting to people that this is a huge bridge to cross. If, if, you've, if you've been married for a good number of years and you've never crossed this bridge with your spouse, mm -hmm. it seems like the Verrazano Straits Bridge. And you say, yeah. how do we do it? How do we do it? And, and we look at the couples and we say, what do you mean, how do you do it? You, it's so easy to pray together. But the whole idea is that if one member of the couple mm -hmm. can take the other by the hand mm -hmm. and say, honey, you don't have to say a word if you don't want to, but would you hold my hand while I begin to pray? Mm -hmm. And once you take that step, it it's like, so easy. it's a footpath. Yeah. Right. It it's, so it's an instant footpath. And when you and see the, the results of it. And the results are almost, well, I wouldn't say they're instant, but within a few days and a couple of weeks, you will start being able to track the changes in your marriage. What do you tell people to do? I mean, morning, noon, night? It anytime. varies. It varies. And that's why we took these 24 couples. Mm, right. And that's why when we wrote the book, there's suggestions. You know, if you have two, three, four kids, you know, when you're trying to find that time, couples are helping other couples. We, you know, we have a website that helps them. We want people to go on coupleswhopray.com. There is we give them a step-by-step -step way to, to cross that bridge, which is, Squire said, is really just a little footpath. And I'm telling you, Pat, it has been Amazing. phenomenal. You interviewed uh, some so-called celebrities, among mm -hmm. Denzel Washington. So well, what did they come back and tell you? Well, you know, it's interesting. Pauletta Washington, Denzel's wife, is probably our greatest cheerleader at this point. Mm -hmm. And she's out there handing out couples who pray books like, uh, you know, wafers. And, and <laughs> the, uh, the whole premise that she talked about is that it, all it does is it, is it takes common language to be able to communicate with God. And she mm -hmm. says, you don't need to use these and thous. It's like a conversation. It's like having a cup of tea with your maker. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you come to that conversation with your partner every single day for just five minutes, for 40 days, we promise you your life will change. Mm -hmm. Your marriage will change because the promise is in the scriptures. Sure. Where two or more are gathered, mm -hmm. In my name, I will be there among you. Mm -hmm. And that also means that while we are focused on married couples mm -hmm. with the 40-day prayer challenge, that if there are uh, a mother and a daughter who come together and commit to praying together 40 same days, principles. those yeah. same principles yeah. are going to apply. Two of you. Arguments mm -hmm. will go down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, among mothers well, and teenage daughters. teenage daughters, that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you're starting something. This is yeah. Valentine's Day, and you're starting a 40-day challenge. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. When we talk about love, yeah. the right. greatest love we have is from our Heavenly Father, and we are asking people to just try it. Try it for 40 days. You can start on Valentine's Day. You can start anytime. Sure. But just pray for 40 days, five minutes a day, and just see what happens, yeah. and we guarantee their lives will change. And it has done it to you. Yes. Yeah. And you to every couple that has a. done this, their lives truly 
have become so incredibly happy. Five and if you sign up, you go to <coughs> cbn.com right. and you sign up for the Couples Who Pray, the 40-day challenge, mm -hmm. we just, we are so committed that we know that there's a whole support system there for you. They're going to get you to coupleswhopray.com and they're going to get you to all kinds of other support groups and, and, and load you down with all kinds of material to get you across what you yeah. think is that long bridge that's only a footpath yeah. and you're going to find a change in your life. You're going to find that happiness is something that is a way of life. Marvelous. I mean, how could anybody refuse? <laughs> really? Well, ladies and gentlemen, for the next 40 days, we're inviting you to pray with a partner five minutes every day. It can be your spouse, your child, a sibling, or just a friend. So log on to CBN.com, sign up for our 40-day prayer with a partner campaign, and you'll find teaching material and principles of people who have changed their lives through the power of prayer. And we appreciate Squire, award-winning television producer who's spending his time now with couples who pray. God bless you both. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you kindly, Pat. And may you, your tribe increase. All right.